Hello and welcome to the Proving Grounds. Today is a game of mind over metal with little pieces moving across a wall covered board. Today we at the Proving Grounds. Did I say Proving Grounds? <laughs> proving Grounds. We play chess. Yes, chess, you told me one. We're checking out Pure Chess, which is on multiple platforms, but you're viewing the PS4 version. Now, I'm not going to go into how to play chess, but I do want to point out this game will actually teach you how to play chess. Something I don't usually see in a lot of chess video games, in my experience at least, is actually teaching you how to use the pieces and different types of moves and things. And this game has it has a law in the play and on top of that it has chess challenges chess challenges has bonus games and tournament mode bonus games or basically learning how to get checkmates it has five different versions of it checkmate in one two three four and five turns being basically chess puzzles fun little side alternative while learning more about the game and thinking ahead of your turns Tournament mode is with the AI. You have beginners, challengers, and masters. So, different AI modes in that. And then, of course, you have normal local, where you can play with uh, the AI or with human companions. And you can set up the AI from a one monkey to a level 10 grand master. So, there's lots of different challenges. You can set a timer. You can make it where you can undo, like I said, you can do computer or human local. On top of that, of course, the bigger interest that's usually in chess video games is having online play, which this game does. And it actually does it very interestingly, in my opinion. I don't think I've seen a console game do this before. I do know there are some PC games, like Civilization, that do this, where you basically start a game, do your turn, and then you can leave while waiting for the other person to do the turn. Now the game can play, be played like a normal online game as long as the other player is active at the moment. And you can continuously keep playing. And I've had one game like that so far. But majority of my games in this game online have been like Civilization's little turn email system. Where you just do your turn and you wait for the next person to do their turn and go about on your life. That's both... Nice and kind of, eh, I mean, I think it would have been nicer to, the, the, how should I say, set up the option of how you would want to do the womb. Admittedly, I think it is a good option to have both of them, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I just want to sit there and go through a whole match and not have, like, I've had this one with Dirty Wivels going on for, I think, like, three weeks now. So... It, it takes a while to go through a game in that system. Plus, you know, that's also encouraging you to boot up your console or whatever particular device you have this on each day or multiple times a day, depending on how often you want to check that. But I do think it's a nice feature because, I mean, after all, I can't imagine too many people sitting here trying to look for a live match at the same time. So I think it's an interesting way. It still allows you to be able to play if the other person's live and just continuously have the match or just do it by whoever's torn and wait for the next person to do their torn. I think it's a nice thing. I just think it would have been maybe nice to have like a womb system to separate the two, but not a biggie. Not a biggie. I think it's actually a nice little system that works out in its favor in the end. Now, a lot of, like, if you've played a lot of chess video games, you're probably curious if this has battle animations. One of the early things a lot of chess video games did is start, like, having, like, these comedic like kill animations with chess pieces which is uh most famously with quote unquote battle chess and many other games have mimicked that like there was a lego chess if you didn't know that actually mimicked that kind of thing this does not have this plays very straight out like a normal chess game you do have options to change what kind of chess pieces you have which are very nice that 
You also have four types of classical uh, public domain music, classic, jazz, chill, and nature. You can turn the different types on and off. So if, the, if you don't like jazz, you can have all the jazz songs be passed up at that. You can change the womb and the chest pieces. There's only a few wombs awful. And there's a nice handful of different types of chest pieces you can look through that. But being that there ain't any particular special version of chess being done there's not really a lot of big differences outside of pick picking your particular kind you like personally i like uh, glass and wooden ones myself but there's a few different ones that come with the game there's also dlc ones you can get too which i mean i don't really see much to get those but hey you know if that's your cup of tea who am I to tell you what to buy with your money right I'm just here to give you my opinions of what I think the product is worth whether you think you the games for you or not is for you to absorb the information and make that judgment for yourself because I like to think you have a brain but that's just me <laughs> it's just basic chest work has online options has teaching and a few challenge puzzle ideas to it but there's nothing too complicated about it's pretty down the earth it would have been interesting to have battle animations mainly those do make it fun to see what kind of interactions different chess pieces have but it doesn't so i'm not necessarily gonna hold it for that because i can understand some serious people might want to just you know have a more classical vibe feel and I feel like this is a much more relaxing feeling with a lot of the public domain classic music in that. So it's very nice in that sense. But that's why I didn't want to get this game for a high price. Because it's hard to give a lot to just chess, you know, in a video game format. So what do I think this game is worth? I think... This is a decent $9 fail. Some people might be able to maybe even knock it down more than 5 bucks, But I, I actually think the presentation is pretty nice. It's pretty simple, to be fair. But I think it's a very nice presentation. So I think $9 is a decent price tag. Which kind of goes all over the place when you look at the storefronts it's available on. So, like, on PlayStation, its max PSN price is $19.99, and you will also only find a physical version of this game on PS4, which max, again, is $19.99. However, like, for example, right now, it's actually on sale on Amazon for $9.99, so that's a much better price to get that. I think I got this for, like, $7 at GameStop on a sale, so... Definitely would try to get in the single digit dollar range myself. I think 20 bucks is way too much. But again, as I said, price is all over the place. So on the Xbox One, the Pure Chess Grand Master Edition, which comes with some of the DLCs, is $12.49 on the Xbox. And then on the Wii U, yes, this is on the Wii U, it's $7.99, and I have no idea if it even has online on Wii U, let alone anyone who's still playing it. And then it's also on PC on Steam for $15.99, and it also has DLCs for sale on top of those. So as you can see, it's all over the place when it comes to the price range. It's also apparently on mobile and that. I'll have to look that up too. It has a variety of platforms, but the price is just all over the place with, as far as I can see, the PlayStation version being the most expensive, which is a bit interesting considering apparently this game sold really well on PSM when it first came out. So I guess they really wanted to take advantage of that uh, player base on there, I guess. But either way, though, I enjoyed the game. I would definitely look for it on a sale digitally-wise, because the only one that's decently priced digitally is the Wii U, and I don't really think you'll find many people online on that. 
The other thing you could probably throw at this game is, if you have the Switch version, uh, uh, not the Switch version of this game, uh, we, we face erase that. If you have a Switch, you might argue, what about that Clubhouse collection of games on the Switch? That has chess, and it has online. And that might actually be a better choice to do if you have access to a Switch. You get 51 games you have online if you have a Nintendo Online account. But that's also, I believe, $39, I believe. Let's see, I think it's 39 new. Yeah, it's 39 new if you get the Clubhouse games, 51 worldwide classics for the Switch. So, you get 50 other games with chess. But, again, that's also really pricey, especially if chess is literally the only game you want. Now, as far as I know, this pure chess is not on the Switch, so you won't have this particular game as an option. But, I'm just pointing that out as somebody might bring up, it's like, that might be... Because apparently the chess mode online is the popular game with that on the Switch, so... But that might be a bell whoop if you have a Switch. But if you have an Xbox or a PS4, Pure Chess seems to be your bell bet in that sense. Anywho, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't go higher than 10 at max myself. But that's just me. Anyway, that's Pure Chess. This is just a quick little review here. I've been enjoying this for like the last month and a half on the side. Just as something a little to do in that. But it's simple. It would personally I would have liked it the battle animation, so I, I won't lie on that, but like I said, I'm not gonna hold it against it. I can see that it's trying to go for more of a chill, not wacky experience, and I can respect that. I can respect that, even though I would enjoy the wacky <laughs> you know, Japanese stuff what you have, what you expect. I mean is it anyway shocking anyway. Anyway, be uh, extra careful out there on the board. You wouldn't want to be stomped down by somebody's look out there. And until next time, I'll see you on the chessboard.